What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I've got an exciting one for you. I'm going to be modeling a micro apartment or a studio apartment in Revit. And it won't be just any studio apartment, it will be a very cool, super awesome studio apartment. But anyway, before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And follow me on social media as well. And if you want to download this project file that I'm going to be uh, modeling right now, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. You can get access to all of my Revit project files, uh, over 150 files so far. So check that link out. But with that out of the way, let's get started. So I'm in Revit over here, and I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project, as it is a simple architectural studio apartment. And as soon as Revit uh, responds, I'm going to change the units. So just type in UN for units. And here I'm just going to change this to centimeters. I always do this in the beginning. Now uh, let's add some walls. So I'm just going to start with a wall command or WA is the shortcut. And uh, let's start with the 30 millimeter generic wall for the outside. And just do a simple rectangle like this. Uh, now uh, we're going to add a thinner wall inside for the bathroom because bathroom will, will be the only separate uh, room in this apartment. Everything else is just one big room with the sleeping area, dining area, rest area, as well as a small kitchen. So let's just go again to the wall command, WA, don't use the icons, use the shortcuts. And let's just go here into edit type because as you can see over here, we only have the generic 300 and 200 and I want to create a generic 100 and not this ugly brick one. So just go duplicate. Okay, duplicate and uh, let's delete this number two, change this to 100, hit OK, go to edit type, change this to 10 centimeters, hit OK. OK again, and there we go. So just place a thin wall like this for the bathroom. Now, once we have this, we can start adding some uh, dimensions. This is the point of Revit. Revit means revise and edit. So now we're going to be able to uh, change uh, this up and uh, add some correct dimensions. So for this, let's go with 240 centimeters and we're going to be adjusting that if necessary later on. Same thing over here. And for this wall, let's make this distance 175. So this is the hallway plus a small kitchen. And then here is where the TV will be. And for this distance, uh, let's do something like, I don't know, uh, like something like 700 and then we'll see if we need to change that later on. But we've got some basic walls over here. So now let's add some doors. So just go to door or again, a shortcut, the best way. DR is the shortcut for doors and place one door like this, but flip it on the other side. Yeah, like that. So because here we're going to have some uh, storage area and then the, the little kitchen will be over here. And let's add the door to the bathroom. So just go door. And this is where I'll place the door to the bathroom. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do, we need to load some families in to start, uh, start basically to help us with all the dimensions and to make it look really nice. And for that, I'm just going to move Revit out of the way. And as you can see, I've got some families over here that I uh, decided to use in this project. So let's just use the toilet and maybe the shower. And let's see. What else we have here, a hand wash base, and let's just load this first in to complete our bathroom. And as soon as it's loaded, let's maximize this on screen. Okay, and just go to component, and here it is, the toilet, and let's place toilet here on this wall, kind of like that. Okay, so we've got the toilet over there, then go again to component, or for component, as you can see over here, the CM is the shortcut. Again, shortcuts are the best way or the quickest way to modeling. Uh, let's see, here's the hand washing area. Let's flip it to the other side, place it on this wall and let's add the shower. And here it is, the corner shower. Come on. Okay, here it is. Place it on this wall. And then just go into align, AL is the shortcut, and just align it to this wall as well. Okay, so we've got a nice little small 
a nice little small. Okay, that sounded weird. But we've got our bathroom completed. Now let's do the, the rest of the room. And uh, now because usually you have a couch over here and then that couch transforms into a bed, but that's so boring, that's so uh, old school. So let's add a Murphy bed. And for this, I'm just going to move this out of the way. And as you can see, I've got a Murphy bed family over here. So I'm just going to load it in. And this is actually a parametric Murphy bed that I made particularly for this project and this tutorial is coming later this week so make sure to subscribe to catch that tutorial and let's just align it al is the shortcut to this wall and to this wall and that's it and why is this a super awesome uh, murphy bed family well because if you select it you can change the type and let's change it to bed down and now it's a uh, bed and now you just change it to uh, bed up and now it's up and it's not taking any room but i'm just going to keep it in the down position for now so just so we know how much room we have left over here uh, now here i'm just going to add a simple couch so uh, i'm just going to use the the generic family that comes with revit so just go here to metric or imperial if you choose to use imperial go to furniture and uh, let's see seating and there's this corbu sofa uh, that i like to use architecture or CM is the shortcut for component and space to rotate it around and just place it like that. So as you can see, there's uh, enough room for this kind of uh, living room area. And, and now let's complete the whole kitchen as well as the TV area over here. And for that, I'm going to be using a wall, which might sound weird, uh, but it's probably the simplest way to complete a project like this. So what I like to do is I like to go here to the wall command or again, WA. I know I'm getting annoying with this, but it's very important to memorize all of the shortcuts. So now just go here into edit type, uh, duplicate this type and uh, delete this number two. And let's make it a 600 millimeter or a 60 centimeter wide wall. And let's change the structure. And for the material, I'm going to ch choose birch wood. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here it is. Uh, now, the reason I chose this wood is because my Murphy bed family uses the same wood, so it would kind of complete the whole look of the apartment. So you just start off from this side. Oops, uh, okay, we didn't change the thickness. I know I forgot something. So let's change this to 60 centimeters. Apply, okay. And here we go from here to the other side. And this is what you get. And don't worry, I know it looks uh, weird right now and you just need to align it to this wall. So you just align it like that. And I know it looks super weird, uh, but one way to make it uh, less weird is to select one of these uh, walls. And when you go into edit type and into edit structure and it choose the material, uh, because it doesn't have any material selected, it's using the default material. So if you choose here uh, default, let's see, here is, and if we change the cut pattern to a solid, and as you can see, the black color is over here, and maybe for this color, let's change this to white, and the appearance to white as well, just to make it look a bit nicer, apply, let's see, yeah, and if I hit OK, OK again, apply, OK, and if I change this to uh, coarse, or uh, to fine, as you can see now, it's going to become black. And let's change this. Sometimes it's lagging with a small wall. So what you need to do, you need to kind of go again into the family, hit OK, apply, OK, and now this will turn black as well. So now the walls are black, so you can see what which is the wall and which is this uh, cabinet area. So now let's edit this to make it look like a kitchen. But for that, we need to add just a few more elements. and. Uh, for that, let's uh, just move this rabbit out of the way again. So let's search here for the stainless uh, stove. Uh, let's add the fridge and the kitchen sink as well. So those are our, our kitchen families. And if you want to get all of these families, uh, they're on my Patreon. So they're uh, loaded in with this project files from this uh, project. Okay, so just go to component now. And for the fridge, let's place a fridge over here. And you want to have the fridge as closest to the couch, so your cold beverage is always at arm's length. Then go to component, let's see, where's that stove that I loaded in? Uh, here it is, stainless stove. Let's flip to the other side. Now I know this is a bit of excessive for a stove for a small apartment, but let's say they love cooking. 
and uh, finally the uh, the sync but I'm going to leave that for a later on uh, and you'll see why and maybe move this just a bit closer okay and once we have these elements in place let's select this wall and let's just go into 3d and as you can see this is way too high so let's select all of the walls and change them or connect them the top constraint to level 2 hit apply and then let's drop level 2 to something like I don't know 300 centimeters that's probably what you're going to get in a small apartment in a small cheaper building and let's select these two walls for this view and uh, just hide those elements so just so we can see everything better. You select this wall and you go into edit profile and as you can see now we can edit the profile of that wall and now we're going to make it look like the whole cabinet section. So first let's align this edge with this wall so just go AL for align, AL, yeah you select this wall, you select this edge. You remove the constraint and you do the same thing on the other side. You remove the constraint and now let's start uh, drawing. So I'm just going to go here to left and this will just make it easier for me to see everything. And uh, let's do one line like this, one line over here, one line on the stove, one line here. Okay, so once we have that, uh, let's add the top line. So it the kitchen will be something like this, I guess and this should probably finish over here. As you can see here are the stoves, so let's finish maybe like this. Okay, so we have that, maybe extend it all the way here, and yeah, this looks good enough. And now let's just do some trimming and extending. So trim and extend, TR is the shortcut. You trim and extend that, you trim and extend this, and uh, let's split some elements, SL, split it here, split it here, I think. Uh, no, it should be split over here and then SL, or uh, let's see. Yeah, and we need one more line over here. And uh, just wait a second, it will make sense. So trim and extend, and there you go. Split this, okay, join this thing, there you go and join this. Okay, and as you can see now, this is the whole kitchen area, and here we, here we have some uh, headroom, and here let's create a little opening for our TV. And let's make it in the same height, and here let's put it at 40 centimeters, which is usually what you get for those TV, uh, TV trays, or I don't know, just those, that furniture where you put your TV, I don't know how it's called. But anyway, let's connect it to this wall and again SL for split element to split it here and split it here and uh, let's just hit finish. And if we go into 3D, okay, we are in 3D. This is what you get. So we have our little kitchen area over here, uh, we have our TV area over here, here's our couch, and here is our Murphy bed. And if I go back into level 1, I can place my sink over here, so just go to component, and uh, let's see where it is, where is it, where is it, okay, uh, kitchen sink, let's do small sink, as this is a small apartment, and just check here, uh, place on face, Split it, spin it around, or maybe let's make it a double. Yeah, there's enough room for this. Yeah, place it kind of like that. Okay, so uh, we've got our sink over here. Let's just place the TV and uh, again go to component, load family, and let's use one of the Revit's uh, flat screen TVs. Open this up and let's choose the biggest one because small apartment, big TV. You have enough money left. Okay, and let's just spin it around, place it here. Uh, the reason I gave it an offset of 40 centimeters as this is 40 centimeters high. And now if I go into 3D, yeah, and then as you can see now, this is on top of that. But if we didn't have that offset, if it was zero, oops, if the offset here was zero, uh, as you can see, it would be kind of embedded into the wall and that's not something you want to have. Okay, so we've got our TV, we've got everything about the reason for the Murphy bed. Well, if I go back into level 1, I can switch this to uh, bed up, and then I can uh, put a small table that can maybe collapse and be placed here in some cabinets and moved out of the way. So let's just insert that as well. So you go to view, oh sorry, view, insert, load family, uh, let's go to tables, tables with chairs of course, and just open that up and go to architecture, component, uh, smallest one, place it like this, and of course rotate it by 
45 degrees because it looks way cooler anyway so that's it it looks quite cool anyway so that's it for this project and thank you for watching please subscribe and i'll in the next tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to create this cool 3d presentation of our little studio apartment but anyway that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions leave them in the comment section below and if you want to download this whole project with the murphy bed and all of the families check out my patreon first link in the description thank you for watching and have a nice day